all spaza shops and other food handling facilities must be registered within municipalities in which they operate within 21 days from today. Any shop that is not registered within 21 days and does not meet all health standards and requirements will be closed. Sincerely, I'm so, so excited about this news because what these people are doing in South Africa is quite alarming. Like, and it will also help to reduce the level of fake food in South Africa. I think I've noticed that the number of fake Coca-Cola, fake Coca-Cola in South Africa, I think is much bigger than the real or the original Coca-Cola in South Africa. Last time I posted a video where they, are, where they were manufacturing or where they were producing um, fake Coca-Cola, right? And um, I also um, posted a video where some people purchased Coca-Cola from a shop and when they shaked it, it did not foam. It was just like that. In fact, the, 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 the color was so black and thick. It wasn't even looking like the original Coca-Cola that we all know, right? So I guess the, 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 the number of fake Coca-Cola in South Africa is extremely high. In this video, I will still have to show you another people that have purchased um, another fake Coca-Cola. Guys, did you see that there was no sign of gas in that Coca-Cola? But the most interesting part is this how South Africans turned the whole thing into a laughing stock. Now, the way foreigners are selling fake items, fake food, fake drinks, everything fake, the way they are doing this whole thing is becoming a norm in South Africa. Like, I don't know, it's, it's as if um, that's how it should be, that's how it's supposed to be. Even to some South Africans, it's becoming funny because these guys are so tired. Like, they are tired of fighting against this. They are tired of speaking out. They are tired of complaining. So all they do is to sit down and watch how things go. Yeah, you laughing. You think it's a joke? No, no. Shall expire things from 2022 to the community. Eat it. 2020, 2021. No, 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 Imagine what the Somalian guy did. This is exactly what they do over there. Now, the goods that he sold to someone else, that thing expired 2022. But those people went and changed it. They changed the expiry date to 2028. And when you are buying such thing, you just buy it with um much confidence that you still have enough uh, time to get expired. But not knowing that you bought an expire, like you are buying an expired good and you you are eating a spoiled food now did you see the look on his face he was smiling like he was actually laughing he wasn't even remorseful he didn't even show that he's sorry that he's truly sorry imagine what those guys are doing in south africa but what they're just waiting for is probably when those people will react mm -hmm. you will see them facing camera and start spilling out uh nonsense did you see, did you even see the look on his face? He, he, he wasn't even scared. He wasn't even afraid that the people may attack him. He wasn't even sorry. Like he was not even sorry. It was as if um, he did it on purpose. I, I learned someone commented yesterday that they have this on WhatsApp group. Because I've been thinking like, why is it that they all do the same? Even those living in Joburg and other places, Cape Town and all that. Why is it that they all behave the same way? Like, is it that they are up to something or they, they are on a mission, you know? So someone commented yesterday saying that he got an information from a South African policeman that these people, they have a um, WhatsApp group. Are you getting it? That even when the police uh, wants to raid come and do inspection and all that. They get information and you see them locking up their shops and all that. Or sometimes they won't even open on that day that the, the, the police is coming to do inspection or the authorities are coming to do inspection. 
are you getting it so i think even in that whatsapp group that is where they they discuss all those atrocities that they are committing yes there is nothing they won't discuss in that uh, WhatsApp group because that is where they, they will be discussing on how to poison their snacks, how to do this, how to do that. And once they discuss that, all of them will carry out such um, acts. They will have to carry out such If not, why is it that they are all behaving the same? Why is it that they are all doing the same thing? Like, why? Why is it like, and they don't even show any remorse. They do not show any their behavior shows that these guys they are on a mission are you getting it even like i i don't understand i don't get it so why is it that uh, spaza shops owned by south africans why is it that when you go there to though i i learned his few right i learned his few but why is it that even though it's few right why is it that when you go there to buy anything and eat it nothing happens to you why will it always be this um spaza shop owned by uh somalians ethiopians and the rest of them why sincerely i commend operation do the lag i commend them immensely for doing their job diligently like these guys are working so hard to save lives they are working so hard to save south africans to save the citizens because it's not easy like and the truth is this there's no day there is no day that those people walk into any spaza shop owned by a foreigner. There is no day they walk into any spaza shop that they will find out something. They must find out something. Like they must, oh, they must, they must get an inspired food. Like it's a must. I haven't seen any time that those people walk into any spaza shop and they did not find anything. Like they must find something. So why is it so what is going on i felt these people actually left their country to move to south africa simply to better their lives and make money do business and make money so why 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 are they attaching something else to it why on earth will you be selling um spoiled food you know it's spoiled and you know you can't even give it to your children you can't even eat it yourself so why are you keeping it in the shop for who to come and buy from it for who to come and eat it for who to come and buy it why why are you keeping it there there's no day you will go there that you will not see expired drink. There's no time you open their, their freezers that you will see spoiled meat, spoiled beef, spoiled fish. You must see spoiled something. And yet they kept, they kept it there for, for customers to come and consume it. They are keeping it there for customers to come and buy and consume it, which is very, very bad. Like the, the, the snacks one is the one that is turning my brain. Guys, if you see the kind of things that comes out from the snacks, eh? Oh my goodness. And if, if you see the, the environments where they produce all those things, you weep for South Africans. You weep for them. These people is only God that can help South Africans, honestly. Like last time a South African man opened a canned drink. A canned drink he bought from his father's shop. Actually, it was like the drink was so foamy and smelling like it was like a dirty water that they pour into this can drink <clears throat> like you see when you when you are done washing clothes when you are done washing clothes you see this foamy dirty water eh? it's as if it was as if that's what they poured inside it the 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 water or the drink was smelling like it was smelling and it was foaming i don't really know what they pour inside the the stuff and this south african man open it in fact this this foreigners has made these people not to trust them anymore that in south africa when you buy anything you must have to check before eating it it's not just like any other country that once you just buy a a, a canned drink you just open it and pour it into your mouth like that fiam are you getting it these people have made south africans not to trust them that before they put anything in their mouth they will have to go through it they will have to check if this thing is actually good or not so this south african man brought um a cup to check this drink before probably to see if you find anything inside the drink probably like bottle or anything you know now but what he saw i think that one was even worse than bottle like what he saw eh i watched that video i said hi god 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 a lot is happening in this country like a lot is happening in this country things like this are the things that can't happen in other african countries honestly and if at all you see things like this happening probably is the citizens that are doing it are you getting it uh-huh but still even the citizens can't have that mind to 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 do things like this but rather the ones that are doing this in south africa they are foreigners and when you even check very well you discover that they are illegal foreigners that is the most painful part of it 
I pray that these people should just stop. They should just stop this thing they are doing. It's very, very bad. You are the one humiliating someone. You are the one poisoning someone. You are the one in someone's country undocumented. You are the one selling fake food, fake goods. You are the one selling spoiled food. You are the one selling rotten food. And you are the one tagging someone xenophobic. You are the one making bad names, creating bad names for this same person that you are humiliating, that you are poisoning their children. You are still the same person creating bad names for the world to see that, oh, you are in their country and they are not allowing you to stay in their country and do your business in peace. They are disturbing you. They are locking up your shots. But you are not saying what you are doing in that country. Since you guys have WhatsApp group, why don't you use that your WhatsApp group to promote peace, to discourage those that are doing evil in that country, to tell them that you are not part of them, that if they are being caught, they will go in for it and nobody will come out to speak for them. Why don't you use your WhatsApp group to, to say something positive, to, to encourage others to do good, to stop selling rotten food, to stop committing all those atrocities. Rather, you guys use that your WhatsApp group to, to, to do a lot of evil. And yet, you are the ones making the world to see these people as bad people. It's very, very wrong.